Oh, it's not empty. Oh my gosh, I see. I look right here, look right here. Oh my gosh, I see gun in there. Oh, you got hey. it. Hey. Let's do it, you ready? Yeah. We just paid $3,400 for this storage unit behind us. The most expensive one in the South right now. Why? Gun cases, gun in the front, gun safe. Let's get in there, let's start digging and pull out some big money. Sitting right in the front, this beautiful old 12 gauge shotgun. Woo, look at that, that's got some age to it. The brand on it right there says Cannon Breach. That is sick. And it says Cannon Breach on the top. I've never found a can of breach. I bet you this is old and worth a good little something. I posted some pictures of this beautiful shotgun online and I was told that it was created in 1915, making it 100 years old. If anyone can verify that, please let me know in the comments. If so, that is an epic piece of history right there. Can I just point out how massive this gun safe is? So even if we start pulling out these cases, if I don't see a gun, you know what? I'll be okay because that thing's probably loaded to the brim. Well, this is literally just a bag with the one case and a spider. See the spider over there? Where? Right there on the right side, right there. Oh, he's hiding. He's guarding it. <laughs> Let's see, is this a gun case? Ooh, that's Walther. definitely not empty. Walther, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Never Let's, heard that brand. Me neither. Let's see. Ah, uh, no gun, but there's the magazine with the reloader right there. Check that out. Yeah. There you go, look. What was a nine millimeter? Yeah, it was a Walther PPQ. 619. 619 bucks you know what Dang. and there's the grips for it too it very well there's a very very high probability that it's sitting in that safe right now so you know what we're not gonna freak out let's see is there anything else in this bag though that's the question is it just the front open up uh nothing in there no other pockets nope well we got gun case number one what is this one that's not a oh look springfield armory hey. tactical gear what is it though empty uh it looks like this is to hold a bunch of magazines. This is probably something you take to the range to carry preloaded magazines so you don't waste a bunch of time in there. Yep. So that's more tactical gear. Let's set it right here. Let's pull out this box. Right here. I see antlers too. That's a pistol case, isn't it? Whoa. That's another pistol case. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Well, this is metal. What's that? Ooh, that's in there, whatever it is. Uh, Rock Bros pedal. pedal? Um, what oh, is that? It's a bike pedal. Is it really? Yeah. It is. You're right. Two nice. of them. There's two in there. A pair of bike pedals. Okay. Fun fact. I'm 29. <laughs> I've never ridden a bike in my life. I like to point that out because I think it's funny. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. What's this guy? Uh, I don't uh, know. A beater? Don't Baby. beat me. What is this? More pedal or more bike parts? Handlebars. Handles, yeah. But I can ride my bike with no handlebars. Good job. No handlebars. <laughs> no, no handlebars. handlebars. <laughs> I think... All these pieces in here go to a bike of some sort. There's another zipper right here. Let's open that up too. Anything? No, nothing in there. But hey, I bet you these bike parts here are worth money. Over here, spray bottle, empty. A pair of Adidas, a couple golf balls. Everyone needs a set of balls. Nice. <laughs> um, what does that go to? They look like magic oh. wands. Is it a tent? Yeah, some kind of tent. Oh. Maybe you hit the golf balls in it. Maybe. That's actually pretty cool. On this side, we see it. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. But this explains <laughs> all the bike parts. Maybe they worked on bikes. What is this here? A uh, Trek? You see any other numbers? 3700. 3 Series. Trek 3 Series 3700. I know some bike frames could be worth a ton. So that's definitely something we're going to have to look into. Plus, what is this, like a tow chain type thing? I guess. Maybe, the, maybe they use this to hang it up so they can work on it. You know what? That's probably exactly what they did. Let's pull out some of the artwork on this side. What is this guy? Oh, it's upside down. Whatever upside it down. Is. There it is. Uh, that didn't really help. I still don't know what it is. Uh, I think it's abstract art. It's abstract art. Other <laughs> words, it's nobody knows, but you know what? People buy it. Hang it. There's yeah. a name at the bottom, though. Is it? There was, yeah. Quite a few over here, actually. Let's see if it's by the same person. This one, I don't see anything written on these two, do you? No. Those these are look, cool, though. Yeah, these look like more something you buy from a home decor store. That one looks like an actual painting. So let's just put it over there. Zoom up on the name, too. If anyone recognizes that artist's name, definitely let us know, because I don't really know. Let's grab these other ones. There's another rifle case in the tote. Hey. <laughs> let's see. Uh, wow, there's a lot of these. These are huge, too. Somebody had a big house, you know? That's a good sign. Yeah. Well, that's upside Turn down. That one. Let's turn it upside down. Oh, uh, this one's actually got his stuff on the back. They paid 70 bucks for this, for this from Kirkland's. Wow. So not bad. It looks cool, but that probably means most of this stuff is like we said before, like home store, like Kirkland's. 
This one's 70 bucks as well. And this one is 39.99, so 40 bucks. Not bad. Let's go for the top tote here, this clear. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Uh, how do I get this? Let's see. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Come down, come down, come down. Oh. Easy does it. Easy does it. I didn't think it was gonna be that heavy. <laughs> what in the world is that? Is that money? Is it? What is that? How do I open this, right here? No, what the heck? You hear that? I do. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, it looks like sinkers and um, bolts. Oh. So, but this sounds like change. That, the University of Oklahoma. We're like 20 minutes from there right now, so. <laughs> Easy Makes sell. Sense. Yeah, no kidding. What is that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. it has somebody name on, name on it. <laughs> so, that. These, it look like old pictures. It's a birth certificate. But you know, believe it or not, a lot of people love buying vintage old black and white photos. They sell like crazy. I think it's an arts and craft thing, but look at some of these. That's crazy, look at that. How old do you think these are? I don't know. April 10th, 1939, right there. Wow. That's cool. That's a whole tote full of old awesome. black and white photos. That's good. Is this a professional team? This is, what is that? That's a high school baseball Bombers. team. This, just that. You know what I do like about pictures though? Huh. Pictures are usually the first thing an owner would take out. Like if you were to come in here and you knew you were gonna use, lose your unit, this is the only thing that's irreplaceable. That's the first thing people usually take out. What is that? Ooh. Ooh, what is that? Open up. What the heck? Other side? No. No. What is it? Uh, a Rolls razor? What? Okay. That's a razor? How old is that? I don't even know how to open it. Oh, oh look. There you go. Oh, Whoa. Oh. That is old. That is old. Wow. But cool. Whoa, okay, we're gonna set this aside. That's super cool right there. This is just fabric. A couple of baseball trophies we'll leave behind for the owner. What's the book? Understanding ultrasound physics. Way beyond my pay grade. <laughs> More pictures, certificates. Yeah, the rest of it looks like stuff we'll just leave behind for the original owner so they can get it back. Just as we were going to load this up, I pull out the bag underneath of it. It looks like it might be full of jerseys. Check that out. Nike, Oklahoma. Who is it? Sooners. Sooners. Who's on the back? Let's see. That Dalton. guy. It just says Dalton. Dalton. <laughs> Dalton. <laughs> yeah. All right, what is this? Is this like a Letterman jacket? It says Bombers. But okay. that was the Bombers was the team the in the baseball. high school That's picture. right. So this might be somebody's personal stuff. I don't know. Maybe he's a professional baseball player. These same names. So I feel like these jerseys might actually be personalized on the second hand, so I don't know. Now let's go into the blue tote right here. Then we can see what type of generator we have. Oh, oh look at that. Say cheese. Say cheese thing smiling for you. It's because it's full of guns, baby. What is that? A deer head. Oh, where does antlers? antlers go? Oh, he My looks head. so sad without his antlers. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's that. Poor deer. This is a TV mount. Yep. Is this a turkey? Okay, let's see. Yeah, oh, let's see. That? Oh, it's a picture for it. Oh, that's so cool. I don't want to show their faces, but it's like the turkey they actually hunted. And that's probably his tail feathers. Nice. That's interesting. That's that is cool. really cool. I've never seen anything like that. That's a cool design. Let's see. What is this? That. Empty cup. Then we got baseball hat. This is something. Are these all personal papers? Looks like it. Let's move that out. Let's see what's in here really first. Really quick. Really first? I know, it's said really first. <laughs> I was like, what? Tobacco. Tobacco. That's kind of cool. Okay. Underneath here, what do we got? We got straps, randomness. What is this? It looks like a squeegee for a car wash. Tire stuff. Not too much else, unfortunately. I said not too much. <laughs> and look what I missed. That's a whole part of an AR right there, isn't it? It was oh. just like sitting there right in the yeah. corner. We were like, that's it. <laughs> I was like this, that's it. That's part of an AR, isn't it? <laughs> Check that out. That is a very, very that's beautiful nice. thing to see and a very good sign that you know exactly what's in that safe right there. One of the easiest money makers in the unit, the generator, especially where we're at now in Oklahoma. A lot of people, you know, camp, hunt, hike, things like that. And these are perfect. This is a Coleman PowerMate 5000 Max ER Plus. That's a lot of name right there. But I bet you that this is gonna go for, what do you think? 400, 500 use? Yeah. That's my guess, easy. Now, you see the smile on my face? That's because, let's get into these gun cases. Oh, this one feels heavy. This one does feel kinda light, I can't lie. 
let's see really quick. Let's go to the light one first. Yeah. What, what does it say? Uh, nothing, huh? It's open. Over here, Smith & Wesson. Ah, uh, nothing in there, but it is a bunch of the paperwork, the trigger guard. Here it is. It was a 45 auto 1911. You know what? I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to be happy because obviously it's not in here because it's in there. We all know this. Now let's go to this one here. This one. Yeah, that one's got the weight to it. Come on, Sig. Come on. No, what is that? Oh, no, the holster. Holster, and a mag. Yeah, the holster and the magazine. And what is that? Lube, something. Gun oil. And that little piece. And then the same stuff here. Oh, that was a P290 in there. But you know what? Again, that's because it's in the safe. So we got two frames here. Check this out. Look at this buck. This guy was definitely a hunter if it hasn't been given away yet with all the hunting stuff. That's definitely something that goes in like a den. This is a medical certificate. I don't want to show his name or nothing, but it says, has demonstrated a high level of competency in the theory and practice of the special areas denoted below. So was he a doctor? If he was a doctor, I would think he's making good money. So why would he have lost the unit? You know, it makes no sense. Let's get this see-through tote right here. Oh, this one's got some weight to it. Come on, what you got for me, Micah? What is that? Is that a name? Micah. Micah? Could be. What you got? Okay, this looks pretty random. What do you think that is? screws bits ah some bolts uh this right here come on there's got to be some more gun parts no what are these some knobs maybe like a dresser Full socket set oh i thought it was like knob for a dresser there's that golf club thing license plate cover what is that thing that look at that license plate cover i thought there was something in there we got this is cookie cutters, right? I don't know. It looks like it. <laughs> that. What is this thing here? Ooh. Did you see it run for me, right? Okay. I didn't do that. Okay. Look at that. Dare Enforcer Electric Fence Energizer. Now that sounds dangerous. Cool. Does that mean this is some barbed wire? Let's see. Open up. That is a flashlight. I don't know. It says torch. Maybe it's like a survival type lighter. No idea. Let us know if you know in the comments. I found our antlerless buck earlier. I found his antler finally. Now Yay. he's at least halfway back to normal. He's a. No, I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. This. Let's get this green coat. Destructive. I'm sorry. This is obviously an empty rifle case or shotgun case. What is that? Do trigger lock in there but no actual rifle. That's because why, again, it's in the safe. We gotta make it happen. There we go, we got some a DeWalt drill. And that is actually in there, there we go. Thank now we're at least starting to, to see something good. Yeah, that's really nice. Starting to see some good stuff now, it's because we're getting to the back. What is this guy here? TV mount again? Yeah. Another TV mount. It's like a nail gun or something? Did I test it on our van? No. Probably not, huh? There's that. There's that. Yeah, a couple calls actually. I don't want to put my mouth on it, but I'll do it like this. <laughs> nope. Backwards. No. Nope. Well, I gotta put my mouth on it. <laughs> There's that. There's. Oh, a granola bar. Oh. You want it? Uh, you it's can... only been expired since. <laughs> I'll be nice. June 2000 or August 2019. I'll be nice. You sure? Yeah. Okay, fine. Men first. Leave it in there. I always thought the expression was ladies first, but. <laughs> Not today. Then we got look gun scrubber right there this guy is oh my god he's just teasing me look at this there's a magazine for rifles there's gun scrubber there's no way that thing's not loaded no way let's get this gun case right here oh yeah i like that i like that you know what you got to do right now if you guys don't like this video right now it's going to be empty you got to make it happen <laughs> you have to like it in order for the gun to appear in there stay army come on come on you see that back sticking out yep come on Come on, please, please, please. You please, got one more. Please. Oh, I didn't see that. Please, please, please. What do I see? Oh, it's not empty. It's just got a bag, though. Okay, who didn't like it? Who didn't like it? I know. I really, <laughs> I went there and asked nicely, and you guys didn't cooperate. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. That's what it's supposed to be. Wow. But you know what? Again, you know why it's not in here? Because it's in there. Let's just grab all this stuff here on top and see what we got. Oh, I have no idea what we got here. Let's find out. So those are some fishing gummy worms, right? Yeah. There's that. You don't want it? No, I don't like gummy worms. It's okay. 
there's this. What are these? Well, there's a Sharpie and some pliers in there. And then there's these two weird, mysterious pieces here, which I don't know. I don't really have in there. This. Ooh, are these binoculars? They are. A nice pair, too. Check that out. Pro Hunter right there. 10 by 42 field 677005. Somebody watching this knows what that means. And if you do, please inform me down below in the comments. Now, please go back in your case. Then we got more fishing worms, couple, what are they called? I can't think, floaters, I'll call them that. <laughs> Bobbers. Oh, look at that. Hey, beautiful. Nice. That is actually really nice. Ooh. We got a nice sight right there. Beautiful little scope. And then we got some metal in here. What is this guy? This is this like nail gun? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It looks like ammo, right? <laughs> <laughs> For a nail gun. That's actually a ton of it though. That's pretty cool. Let's get the gray case off. Oh my gosh. This one's really heavy. Master Force. You know what has Master Force? A trigger, a rifle. That's what. Let's see. Please, please, pretty please. Oh, what is that? Is that a nail gun? Is that what we just found the ammo for right Thank there? You. It looks like one right there, Master Force, but that's all it says. It doesn't have a model number or anything like that for us to know what it is, does it? So, I still bet it's gotta have some value for sure. There is the model number. It's a 208-5012. Looks beautiful. You know what? This is a good sign. We're gonna find more guns. Let's grab some more artwork over here. First, this is another medical certificate, man. This guy was making some good money somewhere. I don't know what happened. This is love. You know what I love? Huh. Gun safes. <laughs> Let's go into the tackle box here. This, oh yeah, that's definitely not empty. I mean, it's meant to be a tackle box. That doesn't necessarily mean they used it as one. This could be full of ammo for all we know. It could have a handgun in the bottom. We have no idea. Let's see. Oh, but it's definitely fishing related. I'm so scared to stick my hands in there. I have PTSD from fishing lures. I've got stabbed so many times. Look at these Crown Royale bags. Uh, I don't see nothing but more lore in the top part. Let's see how we get the bottom part to open. Come up. Does it not slide open like one of those? What do you think? Uh, there you go. You thought it was one of the ones that lift up. Eh, it's all actual fishing stuff. That one is. There you go. More fishing. Back in there, you stupid lure. The lure, right? Lure. Everyone likes when I call them lures, not lures. That one. Let's just open this last one. Yep, fishing galore in the tackle box. This bag here in the corner, you know what I think this is? Huh. Oh my gosh, there's like one, two, three rifle cases behind the safe. Oh, you know, we'll get to that in just a second. This, I think this is the body to our deer head that we found earlier. Oh. Isn't it? A little leg sticking out. There's his leg sticking out. It's a whole freaking deer. Maybe it's a decoy. Maybe it's like a, I don't know. That's the only thing I can think it could be. You think it's a decoy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Is that all that's in there? I think we just have all his body parts. There's his front legs and his back legs. The only thing missing is the head, which is probably what we found earlier. This looks like a weight bench, so we're gonna set that right there so that I can get out what I wanna get out right here. This, oh my God, that one's heavy. This well, one, back here. Look, another one, a smaller one. You know what? I like this. Let's get this big boy out of here. <laughs> my walking here. backwards skills are not Good well, to... this unit's a little cramped too. <laughs> okay, please. Remember what I said earlier. You better not screw me over again. You have to like this video right now. Please. Let's see. Ooh. Ha -ha! No, their shells are in here. Why do they have different colored shotgun shells in there, but no shotgun? There's the rag for it and everything, but the shotgun is not in there. We got a soft gun case, but... That's flat and empty. The heavy one, uh, this is another hard case one. Let's see, please, please, please. I beg of you, I beg of you. Magic spells, mm. let there be a shotgun or rifle in there. Come on. Well, it looks like my magic's off today. You know why they're all empty though? Like I keep saying, man, you know why they're all empty? They're all empty because they're all sitting in here along with seven or eight other ones that we don't have the case for. Guaranteed. The last thing, besides a few more things in the back, this is weirdly heavy for its size. It looks empty, but it has like too much weight to be empty. It's weird. Let's see. Before that truck really interrupted us, <laughs> we were going through this bag here, and where is the weight of this bag coming from? Because I don't see nothing inside. 
Is there something in this side or just the wheels? It might just be the wheels. This is the main part right here. I don't see nothing, huh? No. Nothing at all. I think it might just be the wheels. What is that little tag here? This has the guy's phone number on. You think we should call him up and be like, hey man, so bought your unit. You want to give me the combo to that safe really quick so I don't got to break it? So we have two tote tops here in the back. And then we have these two metal poles right here in the corner. Then we have, look at this, a horde of fishing poles. All of course stored nice and together because everyone that's ever had fishing poles knows the moment they touch, they become like intertwined in the sole and they don't separate. They become one. They become one. We have one, two, three, four, five, about six different fishing poles. They look a little bit dusty, but you see the reels there? What's the brand on it? Zebco? Zebco. Guys in the comments, let us know if we got good reels, Another one. cheapo reels, or what they are. I know they can vary drastically, but there they all are. Let us know right now what you think this right here is worth. The last random thing in the unit is a bag of pillows but i feel like paper right here let's see what that is make sure it's not you know something cool is it just pillows it is it's just fabric like curtains and pillows and that's everything in the unit except for this big monster here that's probably full of at least ten thousand dollars worth of guns easy so i just turned this thing and ah, it's insanely heavy and it's got one of the nice bars on it you think it's one 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 uh, please? No? This? This? No. Oh. Well, we don't have a key. We don't have a combo. So, you know, that only leaves one option. We have to break it, unfortunately. This thing is so heavy, but you know what? Listen to this. Listen. That wasn't the right way. I heard something. You hear? Listen. You hear that? Yeah. That. Listen now. See if it goes back this way. Yeah, you hear that? You hear that? Something's rocking in there. <laughs> Something's rocking back and forth. And I'm gonna continue almost killing myself and try to get it out of the storage unit. We're almost there. Ready? Football practice. Ahoy! I don't think that moved at all. <laughs> Dang it! I'm so close. You're getting there. Once we get it to the pavement, though, it's gonna be like glue, ain't it? Probably. I'm gonna get stuck in here, I think. Uh, help! I got an idea. Move! Now! <laughs> oh, I didn't listen, dang it! While we're waiting for our good friend to get back with some tools to get into this thing, I just wanna say I appreciate this guy's stickers, you know? Like, I love guns and bacon, can strongly, strongly relate. Uh, what other ones are here? Break, zombie, outbreak, response team, Kansas, ISIS hunting, lifetime permit, Glock, 5.56, five, 9mm, you know what? This guy just got some nice stickers, I gotta say. We brought some help out here in Oklahoma. We got our friend What's here. What's up? Hey, it's Jason Man vs. Mystery. And we got a whole bunch of tools and we're about to crack this sucker. First, oh. let's just knock it over. You wanna just drop it? You ready? Go All for right. it. Ready, go. Ah! Okay. okay. It's down. All right. All right, so what's step one? Sledgehammer or axe? Well, we have a lot of tools here. We got crowbars, we got a sledgehammer, we have an axe. Sledge? <laughs> sure. I'd say so, I think we should see if we can break this lock first. Maybe that'll undo it. Want to hit it? Let's Go see for what it. happens. Man, I don't even think I made a dent in it. Oh, oh, there goes the electric part. Come on, open you. Uh -oh. Broke the handle. <laughs> well. Well, we got some handles off. I don't think I'm doing too much. We got into the we got into something. The digital part. Maybe. If we hit it right here, we can bend it enough to be able to fit the crowbar in the edge. So Maybe. Just whack it right here. Try something. Full, full power. Full power. You ready? Yeah. We got to back to a safe distance here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Ready? I say that and I take like a foot away, steps to make a foot away from it. Okay, so you want to try to see if we can put the crowbar in there yet? Put a big dent in it, look. We definitely made a dent. We want to get the big one or the little guy? Let's get this big guy in there All first. Right. Okay. Oh, oh. Did we just get Is it that, that easy? Pop? Something popped. Oh, come, come on. on. Come on. Nah. So close. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. You want to try to hit <laughs> it in there? Yeah. 
I'll just whack it like lightly. <laughs> so I'm not smashing it. Please like, watch your hand. hand. Right I'll try to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, I'm putting a lot of trust in you. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> So close. Ooh. It's bending the bar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> ah. It's almost. Golly. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ah. Oh. Ah. I went to try to pull it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now what? Um. Hit it again with a sledgehammer. <laughs> let me try this method. You got 30 seconds to open up, or I'm gonna blow your bolts all over the floor. That doesn't work either, does it? Okay. I say just get some anger out and just hit it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> just whack it. I'm just gonna try to hit right here. Maybe we can loosen up yep. the ball. Do it. Hit it right here. Let's see. Where'd you hit just now? I don't know. Safe. <laughs> You're hitting it right on the Spartan helmet. That's why it's so strong. It's just taking it. All right, let's get a good one. Ready? Yeah. Maybe that'll lift it up a little <laughs> more. Oh. You gotta get underneath it. There it is. There it is. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah, Dang so it. close. There it is. That's a hard angle to get that thing it in there with. It is. That might do it though. Dang ah. it. Let me see if I can get it in there. <laughs> Give it a shot. Ready? Just try to lean all my weight into it. Nah, it has to be like wedged in there actually. Yeah, it's got to. I think we should try to like. Maybe this one. Like this? This one's a little thinner. I know it's thinner. smaller. Ooh, okay, maybe we can use that to pull it up. Pull yes. it up. So here, I'll get on this side of you. All right. And you can get. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh <my> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> this is man, a powerful man, save. Man, 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 mystery checked out. <laughs> this safe just said rejected your crowbar. Oh my god! Dang! <laughs> that one pull. And it's Guys, like, nope. <laughs> that's solid metal. It's not like plastic or nothing. <laughs> wow! Well. Well, let's try this one more time. Come on. One, I'm just gonna try to pull it really hard. All right. One, two, three. No. Dang it. Come on, you. We I still have another, another side. I got another side. <laughs> All right. Get it in there, it is. Oh, uh -oh. that's gonna be a hard angle. Uh oh, now I feel like I got the crowbar in there. There's a bunch of cars coming. Shall we continue this? <laughs> Uh, pause. Yes, pause. <laughs> we always stop when strangers come by. You guys watching, you know we buy units, but to the regular <laughs> customer here, if they come around the corner and two guys are beating a gun safe, it's probably <laughs> not a good look. Probably so not. Just always wait. Back to the action. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this in here now. Uh, Did you need to come on this side? I don't know what's a better angle maybe. for that one. Maybe. We'll switch sides. All right, there we go. Oof. Mm. Watch it break that other side. <laughs> Okay, I think it's in there a little bit more. Let's see. Uh-oh. 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 No. Ah, see the door. See the door. Ready? Yep. Ah. That's... Dang it. It's like it's catching this, you know, the cement stuff that's inside the metal? Yeah. yeah. No. Dang it. Can you use a sledgehammer to hammer that in at all? Want to try it? Sure. All right, let's try it. This is a process right here. This is a a good gun safe. I wonder. That might work too. You want to try and hammer, hammer that, that in? in? Let's see. I'm gonna hit it kind of hard, not too hard. No. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, Go that's in else. there a little bit. Okay, you want to try it? Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can almost stick my phone in there and just look. Dang it. Post. Gosh, go, go, break. 
It is yeah. fighting back hard. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this thing's putting up a fight. You think maybe we take the sledgehammer and smash it down more? You think it'll open the gap anymore? What if you take the sledgehammer and try to hit it like this? Like sideways? I mean, I know that's not... Like yeah. golfing? Yeah. <laughs> like sledge golfing? Yeah, like not that. Not really a golfer. I'm gonna miss and swing it around. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do anything. Just try it. I'm hitting it full force. Go for it. I just like hitting it. <laughs> We almost had a casualty. <laughs> Thor. It's a way to get some anger out. Yeah. That at least should have bent it a little more. See, look how far up it is now. Yeah. Maybe that crowbar will go in there now? It is close. It's really close. You want to give it some lap? Yeah. <laughs> get your anger out. Take your anger out. Stay safe. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all. There it is. <laughs> I think you there did some damage there. A little bit. <laughs> all right. This is oh, caveman way. This is how we open safes. <laughs> this is the best way to open safe. It's more fun. Ready? <laughs> ah. Should we pick another place? Look now? over here, though. Come bring the camera over here. Look at that. You see how close we are to getting in there? Yeah. It's like right there. You want to try a different bottom maybe? Maybe. Bottom or middle. Just try somewhere else. Right, let's try something different. Okay. Hitting the top is not working. So we're going to switch up our strategies here and try another brilliant strategy, if I do say so myself, of beating the living crap out of the hinges with a sledgehammer. <laughs> it seems flawless. Let's see if we can get into it. All right. We're going to start right here at the bottom. <laughs> there it goes. Oh. There it goes. There it is. Oh, it's going Whoa. in. It's going in. You broke the hinge. Hey, can I just say, who needs therapy? Exactly. This is like <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you actually broke the hinge. Holy you did. Cow. Look at it. It snapped right off. Yeah. Now, if we can do that to the top, <laughs> the problem is going to be, it'll be unhinged, but then how do we remove it? <laughs> With Maybe the crowbar. Crowbar, yeah. Crowbar. You want to try to get to the, the top there? I'll try it. I don't Punch know if I can off. live up to that beating. <laughs> Beat it senseless. Ready? Yeah. Come on! Break! Tell me if you see it go. Yeah. Too close. That's what's up. Almost there. Ah! Come Two on, more. safe. Safe! Break! One more! Break! Oh, maybe you didn't more. get it? No. Ah! It's smoking! It's almost there. It's literally smoking! <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> this one, it's bent? Yeah. It's bent? You want to just try to crowbar that side? Yeah, I can. Sure. There's a pretty good space here now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a whole other problem now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, oh, hold on. where's the other crowbar? Right here. I see it. I half see the crowbar. light at the end of the Yeah, top. half a crowbar. <laughs> Let's see here. So can we move? Ready? Okay. Ready? Go. Oh my gosh, I see. I look right here, look right here. You see that? That's part of an AR. I can't see that. That's part of an AR right here. Oh yeah. I'm trying. Yes, I can't see You can't see it. No. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. Come on. Ugh. Dang it. We need a way. You gotta move. Oh, up, up. So close! We need a way to slide this yeah, door Yeah, the door over. has to slide this way. Yeah, I know. And Ow. then crowbar it. Get that sledge, I'll lift it up with this, and you hammer that side. How about that? You sure? We're gonna try. Yeah, there's nothing, like, what's holding it right here? Just this hinge. Oh. So you think I should hit right here? Nope. Hit right here. Yeah. Oh. That way. I can try. This isn't a good idea. <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on. Open. Oh. Careful. We're so close. I don't want to break the wood, but look at this. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Ah. I can see me. We're gonna get this door open somehow. But how? I feel like- can, can you guys just like lift the door at this point at all? With my hand? Yeah, look how far it's like drooping. Or is it too heavy? It's stuck under there. Can we like hammer that? Hammer that in. What? We gotta get this hinge apart. All right, let's go back to it. We gotta break the hinge. Hit it at a different angle. Let's try it from here. It's, you see the smoke? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh my goodness. I am just getting so sick of this safe. It's so Great. close though. Oh, what was oh that? My God. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. The safe is fighting back. It said, I'm gonna break your crowbar and I'm gonna break your sledgehammer. <laughs> Man, okay, we gotta really regroup here. Uh, this safe has taken too much from me. The crowbar and now the sledgehammer, I will not let them die in vain. We must open it. You ready? Yeah. Let's try to just pry it. Oh, there it goes. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. I see it. It's so close. Look, there's two, two silver things right here. There it is. Look, they're coming up. They're coming up. If I can get it in here, we might be able to get it. I would say sledgehammer, but we can't. <laughs> That's okay. You have manpower. Uh, not much more of it. Hercules, Hercules. Uh, uh, that brings a whole new meaning to man versus mystery. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Maybe like this? I'm trying to think uh, leverage wise, what's the best option? No, that ain't gonna do nothing. I don't know. Put it, hey, put it, put it right here, but push it this way. So you like put back that lip. This way? Like yeah. this? Probably this direction. Oh, I see. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You got that one. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Ready? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, you. Yeah, you got to get to that one. This one right here. Yeah, yeah do the same thing. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> get out. So open up. <laughs> oh my god, I see gun in there. Oh, we got hey. it! Hey. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, what's down there? Did we break it? Wait, what is that? Oh. Whoa, because... Well. <laughs> well. No! Is it all taken apart? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Magazine. Part. But. Look at this. Hold on. We might actually have the whole thing in there. We might. There's a pistol grip. What's this? Just a spring? Mm. Yeah. Oh, come on. This right here. What is that? That's a grip, foregrip. Oh, with, with the, the flashlight. flashlight. Yeah. Then the other springs. Well. Is there anything in these pockets? Let's see. No. 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 Well, you know what you call that where I'm from? Huh. A big fat L. This is very important, guys. I really want your opinion on this. Everything was empty, and that sucks. It's a big L, but you know, it is what it is. My question was, do you think this storage unit was staged? Because I honestly think it was 100% staged. The one rusty gun sitting at the front, the empty cases piled conveniently on the top, the pistol case at the bottom just perfectly visible from the door, and then everything empty, no guns, minus the one that was visible. Very, very illegal in my eyes, but I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think it was the owner? Or do you think it was the facility? And do you even think it was staged? And you know what? I want conversation in the comments. Help me out. Until next time, peace out.